Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the Champions League, back in the big boy competition, ready to go today versus PSV. And there's also been an Arsenal news update where Arsenal have been linked to a striker. Yes, Ivan Tony has been linked to Arsenal again, but this time for a move in January. I want to know. Who says no to Ivan Tony in January? <laughs> I think that's where we have to begin. Guys, if you guys have been following this channel and you're following me on Twitter, you've known I have been all over the potential signing of Ivan Tony for months. I've been all over us potentially signing Ivan Tony for years. I have wanted Ivan Tony since 2021. That's how far I've wanted him. When he was in the championship, before he even made his move up to the Premier League. But Ivan Tony has been linked to Arsenal for a big move. And he's been linked to Chelsea. Who do you think he's going to sign for? The, the situation is like this. Ivan to um, I, Arsenal have been informed that Ivan Tony is for sale. And the manager, uh, the manager at Brentford uh, has made it clear that Ivan Tony could move for the right price. Fabrizio Romano has said Ivan Tony is currently linked to three clubs, Chelsea, Arsenal, and Tottenham. But Ivan Tony has voiced his opinion in the past saying that he is interested in joining Arsenal. The move is reportedly for uh, Brighton would want around at least 60 million potentially. And I think if we were able to get Ivan Tony for 60 million, that is an absolute steal, a bargain, and we need to be all over that. Now, if you guys are telling me Evan Ferguson or Ivan Tony, guess what? Evan Ferguson might be better than Ivan Tony in a couple years' time. But right now, we need to win now. And I want Ivan Tony. He comes into this team. He's that final infinity stone in the gauntlet. And Mikel Arteta will be, uh, super team will be finished if we bring in Ivan Tony. Maybe not finished, but one step closer to being the finished article. I think he could be one of those missing pieces to the puzzle. And then um, Thomas Frank has come out and said, we would consider selling Ivan Tony in January if the right price came along. Now, we know Chelsea are interested. We know Tottenham are interested. Arsenal need to go in in January and, and put that money down and bring in Ivan Tony. If we added Ivan Tony to this team, guys, we have another lethal finisher, a guy who can build up play, link up play, and another option to throw it long when we need to change up games. He And also, he not only could he be rotation, but he could be starting week in, week out, and we could still be playing Gabriel Jesus in the team. If Bakayo Saka needs some sort of rest, he could be playing on the right also. I think this is the move we need to make in the future, and, I, and I'm happy that these links are being... Uh, spoken about but unfortunately it is at this moment in time it is just links but let me know would you guys take Ivan Tony at Arsenal I think it's a categorical yes for me but for you guys what do you guys think next uh we got to talk about PSV as we are going to be playing PSV uh to today in the Champions League this is our first game back in the Champions League at the Emirates and guys I am excited to say the least and I have some talking points for you guys from this uh, to, to discuss. So let's go through some of these talking points. First, um, who will be start, uh, starting versus PSV? Will it be Raya or will it be Ramza? As you can see here, we've had 11 people vote already and they're saying Raya. But for me, I'm thinking the reason why he played him against Everton, Raya that is, is because I thought he was going to give Ramza the start versus PSV. But now it makes me think that the reason why he gave Raya the start was so he could prepare him for the game against PSV and have a game under his belt before having that first game in the Champions League under the lights at the Emirates. Either way, we have two quality keepers. It's not it's not Ramza or or, or and it's not Ramza or Raya. It's uh, it's Ramza and Raya. We have two quality keepers. Whoever gets whoever uh, whoever Mikel Arteta feels like bringing in, I'm okay, uh, I'm okay with. And over the weekend, when speaking about this whole situation, he was asked, "Why did you do the substitution?" First thing he mentioned is, "Why didn't nobody mention that Eddie and Ketia, who is who uh, was uh, was brought in for Jesus?" who Jesus is much his senior, has won everything you can think of almost, and, and is a Brazilian international. But we question him on the goalkeeper, basically saying we should be used to and making it normalized that, that you're going to be seeing rotation in the goalkeeper and in every other position. Now, talking about that rotation, do you guys think we are going to go with a full-strength squad versus PSV, or are we going to be going with... A, a, a rotated squad. I think we're going to be going with as strong of a squad as we could potentially play. I think we're going to be playing 
Saliba, Gabriel. We're going to be playing Saka, Jesus, uh, Trossard. We're going to be playing Odegaard and and Declan Rice. We're going to be playing a strong team. This is not going to be a weak weakened team. People are saying rotation two or three. I don't think we're going to do any rotation. I think we're going to play the strongest team possible. Now here's where we could do some rotation. It's in the midfield. I think Fabio Vieira did so well over uh, in that game against Everton that I would keep him as a starter for this game. But would you rather start Fabio Vieira, Kai Havertz, uh, ESR, or Jorginho? I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if Kai Havertz started as Mikel Arteta yeah, did sign him for big money and he brought him in for a reason and he'd want to play him as much as possible. But I would have Fabio Vieira start this game, in my opinion, um, based on how he performed in the last game. And I would play the strong, full-strength squad. I don't want to see us go with a weekend squad. We're back in the Champions League for a reason, playing our best players two times a week. There's none of this rotating the whole team like it's the Europa League. Even though we have a weak group, we have to take them serious. We have to come top of the group. Now, talking about the next thing, the front three, I don't have a debate about. I don't think there's any debate. Let me know, guys. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, Trussard, and Bakao Saka should be starting. I don't think there's any debate there. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know your score predictions for PSV versus Arsenal, as that is something else we need to talk about in the comment section as we go. So let me know your score predictions. For me, this is since it is our first game back in the Champions League, there's going to be a little bit of nerves, but we are at home. We are, The Emirates is going to be rocking, and I think we're going to absolutely slap PSV. This PSV team has some uh, should not be underestimated. They do have some players, uh, some good players like Bella 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 Chopo, uh, Georgie Lang. Um, they have uh, De Jong from Barcelona, Sergio Dest from Bar uh, from that they got transferred from Barcelona, and this guy here, I heard he's a menace uh, in the sense of how good he is. So we need to keep an eye on them. And of course, uh, they have a good. They've been on good form this season, smashing teams in the Eredivisie. Uh, they smash Rangers also, and they've and, and they've. And in their last and in their last 15 games, they're undefeated. They 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 haven't lost a game in 12 games. Their last 15 away matches, they haven't lost. So we got to see what happens. We did beat them the last time we played them last year in the Europa League, uh, one 0 This this time, I think it's going to be a little bit different. I think it's going to be still a clean sheet for the uh, for the boys because it's also a lot of these guys' debuts. Now think about it. Just think about how many guys are making their Champions League debut. You're going to have either Rhea or Ramsdale making their Champions League debut. Ben White is going to be starting, in my opinion. He's going to be making his Champions League debut. Saliba, Champions League debut. Gabriel already played in the Champions League with Lille. Zinjinko already played in the Champions League with Man City. Odegaard potentially making his Champions League debut, if I'm not mistaken. Declan Rice making his Champions League debut. Bakayo Saka and uh, Leandro Trossard. I think he's already played in the Champions League, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um, and then we, uh, Fabio Vera, I th he's already played in the Champions League also. So uh, when it comes to some of these guys, they're going to be making the Champions League debuts. Uh, they might be a little nervous, but I think they're going to be overall excited and it's going to be a good game. And finally, uh, my score prediction is going to be a 3-1 Arsenal victory. Just to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been going through today on Twitter, I wanted to talk about William Saliba. William Saliba has shown what he can do at the, at the Premier League level, what he can do in the French level. Now we need to see him do it at... Uh, the Champions League level, and I'm excited to see William Saliba. I think he's going to be one of our key players. Uh, there's also some some talking points that people were talking about. Also, Bakao Saka, another person who I can't wait to see his, him do what he does. As as he did say, this is a dream of his to play in the Champions League, and he has done it already for international level and club level. Let's see what he can do on the European stage. Yeah, and I've triggered a lot of Liverpool fans today with, with my points. But if I were to pick three key players, my three key players would be Bakayo Saka, Leandro Trossard, and Declan Rice. Let me know who your three key players would be for this game, ladies and gentlemen, versus PSV. My score prediction is a 3-0 Arsenal victory. And although I'm not disrespecting PSV, I just think we are going to be too much for them on the night. I'm not underestimating them. I'm just merely saying that I believe we can do this and we can take the game to them. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the match. And hopefully Mikhail Arteta has a plan for PSV that, that, can, that can keep them quiet. Unfortunately, Gabriel Martinelli will miss the game due to injury if I haven't already mentioned that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Hopefully you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next stream. Let me know in the comment section, would you want me to do a post-match reaction at 11 p.m. Uh, tonight after the Champions League game? Or would you rather, I, 
Uh, I just do upload like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm out of here, people. Love.